So let's just dive in, because uh, this is the juicy part of, of my research, which is what did these people do? Um, in terms of their beliefs, the first belief that came up was to change the conditions under which cancer thrives. So let me give you an example. There's this gentleman, um, this, this gentleman is an integrative oncologist in Japan, and here is his theory. He says, my understanding is that cancer cells are not malignant cells, but sacrificed or delinquent cells, adapted to the wrong, wrong circumstances. In our body, cancer cells never arise in the heart or small intestine because the heart and small intestine are warm with high blood circulation and high oxygen content. It's very unusual for cancer to appear in those organs. My idea is that when mitochondria become decreased or shrink, then normal cells become cancerous. So this is his theory, but it's actually very plausible about what might cause cancer. Um, the mitochondria, if you remember back from eighth grade biology, are the factories of every single cell in your body. Um, in addition to being factories for energy production, they're in charge of very, two important things, cell death and cell reproduction. And as you know, when a, the definition of cancer is a cell that doesn't die and reproduces like crazy. So it makes a lot of sense that what might be at the bottom of cancer is mitochondria failure. Um, what I like about this theory is that there are, just like there are 10 ways to skin a cat, there are 10 ways to kill a mitochondria or damage one. You can damage it with a virus, bacteria, a toxin, with lack of oxygen, which can come from stress. So all these different theories about what might cause cancer, about, oh, it's the toxins in our environment, or it's a virus, or it's stress, or all these different theories that are floating around might all come back to the, the damage that they create on mitochondria. So what's interesting, though, um, about this um, integrative oncologist treatment is that he tries to rehabilitate, he tries to heal the mitochondria and repair it. Um, and that is what is the opposite of the Western medicine approach, which is typically to kill the cancer cells or kill the tumors. He actually tries to repair the mitochondria and then therefore they'll go back to being healthy. So um, very different uh, idea about how to approach cancer.